Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Barbara Puchkai. I'm one of the surgical oncologists at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Uh, I'm a professor of surgery here and interested in research for breast cancer. Today I'd like to tell you about our research that we have done in collaboration with TGen, or the Translational Genomics Institute regarding triple negative breast cancers. Triple negative breast cancer is a type of cancer that occurs in approximately 10 to 20 percent of women with breast cancer. These breast cancers are characterized by the fact that they do not have the estrogen receptor on their cell surface, do not have the progesterone receptor on their cell surface, and do not overexpress HER2 nu. These cancers are more aggressive than other cancers, and the reason for this is we lack targeted therapy or therapy specific for triple negative breast cancers in this patient population. Based on this fact, we tried to find other ways to find targeted therapies for the triple negative breast cancers. What we decided to look at were androgen receptors. Androgens are compounds like testosterone uh, that are in women and in men, even though women have much lower concentrations of testosterone than men do, just like men have estrogen, just like women, but have lower concentrations. What we know are that there are androgen receptors on certain cells in the body of women, and what we wanted to look at was are they on breast cancer cells? In particular, on those breast cancer cells that are triple negative or don't have any other markers on their cell surface. So what we did is we went to our database and we keep a very robust database of all the patients treated with breast cancer here at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. And what we do is we keep all their data and their outcomes. And we use this to improve and learn things on how to treat uh, patients with breast cancer. What we did is we looked at all the patients who had triple negative breast cancer, and we were able to find 120 who we had good data on, outcome, and then were able to get their pathologic slides. So we were able to go to pathology and pull out their slides to study. From there, we went ahead and pulled out those slides from the pathology department and made a special type of a study, a special thing to study called a tissue microarray. And to do this, you take the pathology slides or their blocks and we make little punches or like little cookie cutter amounts of that tumor. We put it on a special slide. And then we embed it so we have multiple patient slides on one slide, and from that we can study. Not only did we take their tumor sample, we took normal breast tissue. If it had gone to the lymph nodes, that tissue. We took precancer if it was surrounding that tissue. And if it had spread to other organs, we also took a sample of that tissue. So we had a very robust uh, amount of tissue to study. Once we did that, we then cut slides and looked at the androgen receptor on these patients. What we found was that 22% of patients in our population had androgen receptors on their cell surface. When we looked at those patients to see if they were different than those who didn't have androgen receptors, we found that those patients who are androgen receptor positive are older, which is very important because chemotherapy is the only way to treat patients who have triple negative breast cancer. And older women cannot tolerate chemotherapy as well as younger patients, and this may give us an insight or a new way to treat these patients in the future. We also found they had a greater incidence or a greater chance of having cancer go to their lymph nodes which is kind of interesting since triple negative breast cancers have a lower risk of having cancer go to the lymph nodes even though it's a more aggressive cancer. When we try to look at survival, we found that the survival was no difference between the androgen receptor positive or androgen receptor negative breast cancer patients. But those patients who are androgen receptor positive had worse cancer to start, so it suggests that these patients may do slightly better. 
From here, we need to figure out what to do with this information. Uh, we know that we can try to manipulate these, these tumors with antiandrogens or drugs that maybe st blocks the androgen receptor, or we need to look at other genes that may be upregulated or downregulated in these patients in a way to target their chemotherapy. We're working very closely with our TGen colleagues and we're taking each patient's tumor sample and we're studying it and looking at all the genes that are either that are expressed in that tumor and looking at which ones are super expressed or completely deleted to see if this gives us insights to further uh, treatment for these patients.